ಮಹದಿಭ್ಯೋ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯ ಕರ್ತೃಭ್ಯೋ ಶರಿಷಿಭ್ಯೋ ಮಹದ್ಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ಗುರುಭ್ಯ ಸರ್ವೋಪಪ್ಲಹರಿತ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞಾನಗ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಗರ್ತೋರ್ಮೇವಾಹಮಸ್ಮಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೇವಾಹಮಸ್ಮಿ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪದ್ಮಭೌಮ ಶಿಷ್ಟಂ ಶಕ್ತಿಂ ಚ ತತ್ಪುತ್ರ ಪರಾಶರಂ ಚ ವ್ಯಾಸ ಶುಕಂ ಗೌಡಪದ ಮಹಾಂತ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಯೋಗೀಂದ್ರ ಮಥಾಸಿ ಶಿಷ್ಯಂ ಶ್ರೀಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಥಾಸಿ ಪದ್ಮಪಾದ ಹಸ್ತಾಮಲಕಂಚ ಶಿಷ್ಯಂ ತಂತೋಟಕ ವಾರ್ತಿಕಾರ ಮನ್ಯಾನ ಸ್ಮದ್ಗುರು ಸಂತತಮಾನತೋಸ್ಮಿ ಶ್ರುತಿಸ್ಮೃತಿಪುರಾಣಾಲಯ ಮಹಾಲಯ ಮಹಾನ್ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವ ಬಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯಕೃತೌ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೀತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿನಿ ಭೂಮವದ್ಯಾಪ್ತ ದೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಸಹ ನಾವತು ಸಹ ನೋ ರಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಕರವಾವೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿ ನಾವದೀತಮಸ್ತ್ವಾಭಿಷಾವೈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿಶಾಂತಿ ಭಾವನಾಯಾಂತ್ರಿಕ ಸಂಸಿಧಮಾಧಿಮಧ್ಯಾಂತವರ್ಜಿತ ಆನಂದಘನಮಾಪೂರ್ಣ ಆತ್ಮಜ್ಯೋತಿರುಪಾಸ್ಮಹೆ in the last part huh? we looked at uh, we were looking at the ekadeshi's interpretation of anandamaya adhikarana in the anandamaya adhikarana so uh, anandamaya adhikarana we looked at anandamaya abhyasat vikara vikara shabdan neeti chet na prachuryat so the chaitriya mantra where anandamaya word has been used that stands for paramatma not jiva says the ekadeshi siddhanti as well as siddhanti the purva pakshi is saying it has to be jiva because anandamaya is vikara of ananda and therefore it cannot be paramatma it has to be jiva ಸೊ ವಿಕಾರ ಶಬ್ದಾತ್ ನ ಇತಿ ಚೇತ್ ನ ಪ್ರಾಚುರ್ಯಾತ್ ಸೊ ಮಯಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಕಾರಾರ್ಥ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರಾಚುರ್ಯಾರ್ಥ ಸೀಸ್ ದಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತಿ ಏಕದೇಶಿ ದೆನ್ ತದ್ ಹೇತುವ್ಯಪದೇಶಾಚ ಏಷ ಹೇವಾನಂದ ಯಾತಿ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಐ ಫಗಾಟ್ ಟು ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ದಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆನಂದ ಯಾತಿ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಛಾಂದಸ ಪ್ರಯೋಗ ವಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆನಂದ ಯತಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ನಿಜಂತ ಪ್ರಯೋಗ ಹೇತುಮತಿ ನಿಚ್ so causes ananda in jeevas this paramatma causes ananda in jeevas and by extension in vishayas also so here uh, this ananda yati that itself is a hetu because it is causative hetu mati nich has been used so hetutva vyapadesha is there the teaching of hetutva for paramatma is there it cannot be the hetu of ananda cannot be jiva hetu for ananda everywhere is paramatma therefore that is another reason so mayat ha prachuryartha katve hetvantramah therefore mayat has to be seen prachuryartha not in vikarartha and therefore the anandamaya shabda means paramatma then we saw that mantra varnikam eva chagiyate whatever is said in the mantras that itself is repeated in the brahmana so satyam jnana anantam brahma was the lakshana vakya in the mantra the same thing is mentioned in the brahmana where anandamaya shabda has been used they are in samanadikaranam itasya anandamaya paraha paramatma na jeevah ityah this is also another reason says the siddhanti ekadeshi here as to another reason netaru anupapatte he netaru anupapatte he na itaraha anupapatte kutaha kasmat karanat anupapatte it is not reasonable it is not tenable that it can be itaraha itara meaning paramatma is the claim made by the siddhanti so paramatmanah itaraha na anandamayah parat ಪರಮಾತ್ಮನ ಈಶ್ವರಾತ್ ಇತರ ನ ವಾಯ್ ಅನುಪತ್ತಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟೆನೇಬಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ರೀಸನೇಬಲ್ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ಸಚ್ ಅ ಕ್ಲೇಮ್ ಸೊ ವೃತ್ತಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಈಶ್ವರಾದ್ ಇತರ ಜೀವ ನ ಆನಂದಮಯ ಒನ್ ಹು ಇಸ್ ಅದರ್ ದನ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಜೀವ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಆನಂದಮಯ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಮೆಂಟ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ವರ್ಡ್ ಆನಂದಮಯ ಇನ
अनुपपत्ते है इट इज नॉट रीजनेबल वाई यू लुक अप यू लुक अप दी मंत्र यू लुक अप वॉट एक्सैक्टली इज मेन्शन देर सो काम यत बहुश्याम प्रजाती सो सह काम यत दैट आनंदमय विच हेज बीन दी तत्व इन दी कॉन्टेक्स्ट सह काम यत स स सो काम यत मीन्स सह अकाम यत दैट एंटिटी हैड काम मेड अ संकल्प वॉट इज दी संकल्प दैट इट मेड जीवा ऑल्सो कैन मेक संकल्प बट जीवा इज नॉट सत्य संकल्प जीवा संकल्प इज मे और मे नॉट कम ट्रू बेस्ड ऑन इज प्रारब्ध एंड एफर्ट हिज फ्री विल वर्किंग अगेन्स्ट दी सर्कमस्टांसिस सेटअप बाय प्रारब्ध बेस्ड ऑन दैट कॉम्बिनेशन नॉट ओनली एन इंडिविजुअल कॉम्बिनेशन बेस्ड ऑन दी सर्कमस्टांसिस मीन्स दी सर्कमस्टांसिस आर क्रिएटेड एज पर द पर्सन प्रारब्ध बट नॉट ओनली इज दी जीवास फ्री विल इन्वॉल्व देर इज फ्री विल ऑफ दी अदर्स ऑल्सो एंड प्रारब्ध ऑफ अदर्स इन्वॉल्व समष्टि प्रारब्ध एंड समष्टि वॉट इज कॉल्ड एज दी पुरुष कार्य फ्री विल दैट इज ऑल्सो इन्वॉल्व ऑल दैट विल इफेक्ट दिस पर्सन रिजल्ट ऑफ दी संकल्प वेर एज ईश्वरा संकल्प इज गोइंग टू सी इट्स एंड बिकॉज ही सत्य संकल्प सो काम यत वॉट इज ही संकल्प बहुश्याम प्रजा ये मे आय बिकम मेनी मे आय बिकम मेनी द जीवा ऑल्सो एज अ संकल्प ही मैरिज एंड बिगेट चिल्ड्रन बट नॉट बहुश्याम प्रजा ये दैट इज नॉट पॉसिबल सो दिस हेज टू बी ईश्वर नॉट जीवा इत्यादि श्रूयमाण से देर आर सो मेनी सच मंत्र यू लुक एट द सेम उपनिषद नॉट वी आर नॉट इवन सेंग स्विच उपनिषद इफ यू स्विच उपनिषद देन यू विल सी सो मेनी मोर दैट दिस जीवा मीनिंग ऑफ आनंदमय के नॉट सैंड स्क्रूटिनी इत्यादि श्रूयमाण से सृष्टे प्रा कामृत्व स्रष्टव्य आत्मक आत्मकत्वादे सो आत्मकत्वादी पद एज बी न्यूज एंड हेतु पंचमी सो सृष्टे प्राक इत्यादि श्रूयमाण से वॉट इज हर्ड इन दि श्रुति इन दि सेक्शन ऑफ सृष्टि जस्ट बिफोर सृष्टि वॉट इज सेड यू लुक एट इट सृष्टे प्राक वॉट इज देर संकल्प इज देर कामेतृत्व इज डिजायर्ड एंड दैट इज द संकल्प ज्ञानमय तस् ज्ञानमय तप एलवेर तप इज ज्ञानमय दट तपस्डेड ही हेड अ विजन ऑफ वॉट एवर वॉज देर अर्लियर एंड देन रीक्रिएटेड इन दैट मैनर देर फोर कामेतृत्व स्रष्टवा स्रष्ट स्रष्ट स्रष्टव्य सो कामेतृत्व संकल्प इज वॉट द संकल्पकर्ता कामयिता इज ईश्वरा सो ही हेज कामेतृत्व एंड वॉट हेज टू बी Created that is Srashtavya. So Srashtavya Atmakatva Dehe Kama Yitritva Srashtavya Atmaka Dehe Anupapatte Tiyartha This Kama Yitritva of what is Srashtavya? What is Srashtavya here? The entire Praja and whatever is needed for the Praja meaning the entire Prapancha Jagat. Jagat Kartritva is the meaning there. Jagat Kartritva Sankalpa. जगत कर्तृत्व एंड बिफोर बिकमिंग जगत कर्ता ही हेज टू हेव संकल्प विच इज वॉट वी यू नो वी सॉ इन डिस्कशन इन दी अथा तो ब्रह्म जिज्ञास एंड दी जन्माद्यधिकरण दी नेक्स्ट सूत्र जन्माद्य देर द डिस्कशन वी हेड सीन दैट देर ईज अ विजन प्रायर टू क्रिएशन एंड दैट इज नॉट पॉसिबल इन जीवा दैट इज दुपत्ति That is the illogical conclusion there. Ityartha. Itaschana ananda maya ha jiva itya ha. There is another reason as to why ananda maya shabda cannot mean jiva. Bheda vipadesha cha. Bheda vipadesha cha. So bheda sya vipadesha cha. Bheda vipadesha cha. That is the sutra has two words. But then bheda vipadesha. That is 
षष्टि समास भेद से व्यपदेशा बिकॉज देर इज अ टीचिंग ऑफ भेद बिटवीन जीवा एंड ईश्वर इन दि उपासना सेक्शन देर इज अ डिफरेंस एंड दिस इज दि एक मत सो एक मत इज भेद अभेद बोथ आर देर नॉट द परम सिद्धांत परम सिद्धांत देर इज नो भेद एंड अभेद टूगेदर भेद इज एन अनुवाद The Shruti talks about Bheda. Yes, Shruti does talk about Bheda. Why? Because that is an anubhava. You cannot directly talk about Abheda, Advaita Tattva, while the Jiva is sitting into all sorts of Bhedas. There is a Jiva Jiva Bheda, Jiva Jagat Bheda, Jiva Ishvara Bheda. Then Jagat Padartha Padartha Bheda between. meaning between sentient beings there is bheda between insentient beings there is bheda between the ishvara and jagat there is bheda between the ishvara and the sentient being there is bheda between the sentient being and the insentient world there is bheda so there are this five definitely five bhedas can be seen at the broad level this is a bheda which is anubhava siddha to the jiva Shruti cannot sit outside and just make a claim of Advaita Tattva. She has to come down like a mother to the level of the child, play with the child till the child learns. So there is a lot of hand holding that the Shruti does. Therefore, Bheda teaching is there, but it is not the ultimate teaching. That is not really the teaching. It is an Anuvada which is already known. There, Shruti is not Pramana. What is a Pramana? pramana is that which makes something which is anadhigata known then only it will give, give rise to prama in an anagat anadhigata vishaya unknown vishaya there alone the pramana has vyapara so shruti is pramana only in the case which is unknown For example, swarga in karma kanda swarga is unknown. There, shruti is pramana. Sadhana towards swarga. What is the sadhana to attain such a swarga? Swarga itself is not known. Sadhana cannot be known. So all the yaga, agni hotra di karma or all the kamya karma which are talked about in the shruti, they are all anadi gata. They are unknown. Therefore, shruti is pramana. Similarly, in the jnana kanda, upanishad kanda, shruti is pramana where it talks about srishti or it talks about abheda it cannot be pramana where the issue is already known and what is known the bheda the subject matter bheda is known nobody needs to teach the individual that you are different from your mother you are different from your brother you are different from your father even the child knows that In fact, Bhagwan Bhaskara says somewhere, he says that this teaching of Bheda, the statements of Bheda, Vakya of Bheda, they are unfit to be taught. Somewhere in Brahad, I think he says that Bhagwan Bhaskara says that it uh, uh, Dwaita is not fit to be taught. Why? He says because uh, Jata Matra Prani Avagamyatvat. He says even a uh, even not even a human being he says jata matra prani any prani which is born that prani knows bheda by itself it knows so shruti is just making an anuvada it is not fit to be taught it is not something that is worthy of being taught such a beautiful statement so in a single statement he gives you the pramanya buddhi where is shruti a pramana shruti is the pramana the only pramana शब्द प्रमाण इन केस ऑफ अभेद अद्वैत विच इज बट देर इज टीचिंग ऑफ भेद वॉट इज दैट दैट के नॉट बी सेट असाइड इट इज देर एज अनुवाद एंड स्लोली ग्रेजुअली श्रुति टेक्स यू टू अभेद बाय पंचकोश विवेक बाय अवस्थात्रय विवेक बाय शरीर त्रय विवेक ऑल दीज मेथडोलॉजीज आर यूज दो मेथडोलॉजीज आर नीडेड एंड दो मेथडोलॉजीज के नॉट बी यूज अनलेस भेद इज Agreed with at the vyavahari ka level. So Bheda vyapadesha cha there is teaching of e, Bheda between here the teaching is 
between Ishwara and Jiva, Bheda is talked about in the Shruti. Raso Vaisa and in Taitire Upanishad, how is it seen? Raso Vaisa, Rasagyum Hevayam Labdhva Anandi Bhavati. So Rasaha Vaisa, Saha Atma, that Brahma Tasmad Vaya Tasmad, Atmanaha Akasha Sambhuta, that Tat and Atma, which is discussed there, that is Rasaha, that is the essence of everything. And this is the essence that each and every person is hunting for. That is sought after. In each and every pursuit that rasa is sought after. What am I going to get? Do I feel blissful with this anubha? Is it something that I will want again? Or is it something that will take me away from my stable state of happiness or neutral state even? That which causes Dukkha takes me away from my Swarupananda. I don't want that. But whatever brings me closer to my Swarupananda, I want that unknowingly. As an Ajnani, without knowing also, I know what makes me happy, what makes me unhappy. It is misplaced. It's a misplaced notion that happiness belongs to the Vishaya. But still, what I search for is that Rasa. And that Rasa is Atma, Swarupa. So, Raso Vai Saha, Sa Atma, not Atmanaha rasa, but Atma eva rasaha, rasaha vai saha. Indeed, that Atma is rasa itself, the essence, ananda that you search for everywhere. And if that is ananda, meaning I am really ananda Atma, then why do I search for? Because there is bheda seen, and I have to attain this rasa. And having attained that rasa projected elsewhere, I become happy. Therefore, rasaha hi eva ayam labdhva ayam rasaha atma. Really, I think that this is that atma which having attained that rasaha hi eva ayam labdhva anandi bhavati. Ayam anandi bhavati. This Purusha who is searching for that, who is actually that itself, becomes happy. But here it is not saying that he is that. There is a difference between the attainable and the attainer. So there is a prapta and praptavya bheda. Iti lab, meaning labdha, labdha, the labdha to has been used here, labdha, tvantadhatu. Having attained that, one becomes Happy Anandi Bhavati Ananda Asya Asmin Vastiti Anandi Matu Parthini Pratya has been used there. So, having attained that rasa, one becomes happy. That rasa is Atma, that Tatpadartha. Having attained that Tatpada, one becomes happy in whatever context. So, Labdru Labdha Vyatvena Jiva Ananda. Jiva Ananda Maya Yoho Bhedena Vyapadishya Manatvaityartha. So Ananda Maya has been talked about, and then there is actually this Brahma Pucham Pratishta has been mentioned, and then further that Brahma is talked about there. It is not really Ananda Maya, but then Ekadeshi is taking that Ananda Maya itself as Brahma. That Mata is refuted in the Bhashya there. In Taitri Bhashya, Bhagavan Bhashya Gara says, No, Ananda Maya is not Brahma itself. It is very close, yes, but it is kosha. Why? Because Brahma Pucham Pratishta, the tail and the hole cannot be one. And the tail is a support. The tail, sorry, the tail and the tail you are seeing as a part, so one part has to be different from other parts. Here the tail is not a part, it is not an avayava. Tail is a support, what we saw in the last part. Therefore, the Anandamaya, there is a kosha. Because Anandamaya, had it been Brahma itself, Paramatma itself, then Anandamaya cannot be having Anandamaya as the support, Pratishtha. Therefore, there is Veda and then further also, there, you go further, there is a lot of um, talk about it and then Bhagavan Bhashyakara establishes that Anandamaya is a kosha, not the real Atma. But however, here what has to be seen, here the difference between Anandamaya and Jiva has to be seen. Which is the claim of the Puro Pakshi. Therefore, Labdhru Labdhavyatvena. If you just take that mantra also, Raso Vaisaha, and then 
रस रस वही सह सह आत्मा परमात्मा रस एंड हैविंग अटेन दैट रस जीव आनंदी होती वन बिकम्स हैप्पी वन बिकम्स ब्लिसफुल हैविंग अटेन दैट रस एंड दैट इज व्हाट वन इज ट्राइंग टू गेट इन ईच एंड एवरी परस्यूड डे इन डे आउट ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन सो इति लब्धु लब्धव्य तो लब्धा इज दिस जीव लब्धु एंड लब्धव्य इज द परमात्मा दे हु इज कॉल्ड एज रस you may not know that you are searching for paramatma but you are still looking for labdhavya ananda that labdhavya ananda happens to be paramatma ananda knowingly or unknowingly you are trying to attain what you do not have you do not think that you have ananda therefore bheda is there between the ananda which is praptavya labdhavya and you the dukhi jeeva or one who is bereft of ananda need not be dukhi who oh, yeah, you know just i'm okay but i would like to be better that is the pursuit so jiva and ananda maya have difference bheda vipadesha is there as as what labdha and labdhavya cannot be one there will be kartru karma virodha so here kartru karma virodha is there if you say say the siddhant is the puro pakshi if you say this ananda maya is jiva then ananda maya is to be attained rasa has to be attained then how can that karma be the karta who is the attainer therefore jiva ananda mayo ho bhedena vyapadishya manatva since that is the teaching there therefore ityartha therefore what bheda vipadesha is there and due to that reason ananda maya cannot be jiva nanu says the puro pakshi now he has an objection nanu there is an objection to this nanu tarhi ananda maya shabdena pradhana muchyatam tatraha this is the sankhya who has been refuted earlier that fellow is sitting there so he says okay okay this is not jeeva right i agree i agree so he steps in and says oh then why not you know as a last uh, effort this is prasangika it is not the main subject matter under discussion in this uh, adhikarana ikshatya adhikarana has refuted the sankhya paksha but then prasanga just in case you know sankhya misunderstands that just because it is not jiva it can mean pradhana no it cannot mean pradhana it has has to mean brahma says this siddhanti ekadeshi nanu tarhi anandame shabdena pradhana muchyatam tatraha let it mean pradhana that anandame shabda if not jiva no it's not possible why because it has been mentioned earlier still if you want to say that it is possible in taitri it is possible you have seen in some other context in chandogya no in taitri also it is not possible kama achana anumana apeksha kama achana anumana apeksha so kama cha same reasoning which was given earlier one of the reasons has been mentioned here again in the context of taitri upanishad na kama cha pradhanam na anandame shabdartha and if you say i am using anumana anumana apeksha eva nasti so na anumana apeksha so there he says puro pakshi is saying i use all use some kind of an anumana here so anumana is possible to land in pradhana to land in pradhana there can be an anuvada just me a moment here okay yeah i'm just looking at something to mention there yeah so he he uses an anumana there as to this pradhana can be the meaning of anandamaya if not jeeva so what is that anumanam here so we'll look at the anumanam so yeah, here it is anumiyate iti anumanam it's a karmani vitpatti anumiyate iti anumanam meaning what anumana ek gamyam pradhanam why because previously what has been said ashabdham prava pradhanam ashabdham ashabda word was used by the sutrakara as to pradhana which is ashabda meaning not mentioned in the shruti that can be the jagat karana there puru pakshi knows that it is not there in the shruti now he says anumiyate ti anumanam that anumane ekagamyam pradhanam he says okay it is not in the shruti 
but it is possible to be interpreted using anumana so siddhanti says ekadeshi says tasya na apeksha mean tasya anumanasya that anumana ekagamyam pradhanam that anumana which leads to the pradhana as jagat karana here anandamaya there is no such expectancy why because anumana has to be used only when the pratyaksha or the shabda pramana does not work there only then you step to anumana oh i can establish with logical this is logically established pradhana that pradhana apeksha is not there there at all karmani vitpatti karma of that anumana so anumana ek gamyam pradhanam so na anumana apeksha means pradhana apeksha nasti which is anumana siddha why tasya na apeksha anandamayatvena atra na swikarha why the reason is not given reason has gone by earlier that is not come in the vritti yet kutaha kamat so anandva anandamayatvena tasya na apeksha means tasya pradhanasya anumana ekagamyasya pradhanasya apeksha eva nasti for what for concluding that this ananamaya shabdartha anandamayatvena pradhanasya apeksha nasti atra na swikara it is not acceptable kutaha due to what reason kamat because kama iti tadadikare so kamayata iti kamaitrutva shravanadityartha same thing which was mentioned earlier in the chandogya context what was mentioned that will apply here also here also there is a kama apeksha so kama shabda used there kamaitrutva shravana so kamayata akamayata has is heard in the shruti srishte prak therefore pradhana which is achetana cannot be the anandame shabdartha tatra pradhana nirakarana prasangikam iti bodhyam this is not the main subject matter in this adhikara just because there can be a misunderstanding that it is not jiva then something other than jiva can be pradhana also why do you land on brahma why do you land on pra- paramatma so if at all such a thought comes in then that is taken up in the context and it is cut at the root itself why because one may think that oh, in chandogya it wasn't the case there was you know ekshana their ekshana was given as a reason that is possible only in the in a sentient being similarly here kama has been used word the kama word that is also possible only in the sentient being so it is prasangika it is only taken up in because there is an occasion for it itashchana anandamaya jiva ityaha this is another reason why anandamaya cannot be jiva sutra says asmin nasya cha tadyogam shasti asmin nasya cha tadyogam shasti asmin asya cha tadyogam shasti this double nakara is uh, raswa nyamun nityam so nakara there are no two nakaras there asmin plus asya this nakara preceded by raswa and followed by the o there has taken nyamut adesha so it has become double so to say but if you break the sandhi it won't be there this is just you know there are people who may know but still may not be able to recall and then uh, your mind goes elsewhere so asmin asya it is not asmin na asya it is asmin asya cha tadyogam shasti there is a teaching there what is the teaching there asmin anandamaye so we'll go to the vritti it will be clear tadyogam is there is a union of that meaning again labdh labdhavya was mentioned earlier here bheda upadesha there labdh labdhavya bhava was mentioned there there is the attainer and to be attained relation between jiva and anandamaya because ananda is something that jiva should attain and the purva pakshi didn't object there why because that is his uh, claim also but then he what was his claim anandamaya cannot be jiva because ananda uh, cannot be uh, paramatma because ananda has to be attained 
now puro uh, pakshi was refuted with a sutra where that similar reasoning has been used by the sutrakara siddhanti where he says oh because ananda has to be attained then this cannot be jiva he had puro pakshi had said ananda may has to mean jiva because ananda vikara mayat is vikara arthe in that context he had said that there is a diff- there is difference between ananda maya and there he didn't say ananda maya and jiva difference here ananda maya if it is prachuri arthe then it is brahma and it is to be attained whereas puro pakshi had said ananda maya mayat is vikara arthe and therefore it cannot be ishvara it has to be jiva now what is said is that tadyogam shastri tadyogam means that that bhava of brahma has to be attained puro pakshi says through upasana which is a vidhi by man, you know nididhyasana is a vidhi nididhyasitavya shrotavya mantavya nididhyasitavya there nididhyasitavya you know that itself is a general statement taken there for from bhamati paksha also but from ekadeshi paksha also nididhyasana is a dhyana and that dhyana will make the jiva who is not anandamaya as anandamaya but in taitriya context where the vishaya is taitriya upanishad mantras or vakyas where is this teaching there of tadyogam tadyogam is union with that or becoming one with that parmatma that shasti upanishad teaches that asmin asya cha tadyogam shasti so asmin that anandamaya atma unto that there is there is merging which is taught there you have to merge with that where is that mantra so it is stated here um jadahi vaishya etasmin nadrushyanatme nirukte ityadi shastram shasti there it says that you have to merge with that brahma anandamaya so this is the ekadeshi perspective there therefore it cannot be the same one who is merging one who is merging one who gets that yoga cannot be the parmatma where ananda maya itself otherwise one will not seek that shruti will not say you become one with that therefore also there is reason given as to therefore ananda maya cannot be meaning jiva सो अस्म आनंदमय प्रकृत आत्म अंटू दिस आनंदमय विच इज आत्मा विच इज दि कॉन्टेक्स्ट प्रकृत विच इज दि ब्रह्म अंडर डिस्कशन विच इज दि एंटिटी अंडर डिस्कशन दैट इज प्रकृत अंटू दैट आनंदमय प्रकृत आत्म अस्य जीवस्य योगम शास्त्री तदयोगम prabuddha sya asya jeevasya one who has attained finally prabuddha is woken up to the reality through jnana because you cannot have nididhyasana without shravana so one who has done shravana and knows the vidhi here oh you do upasana unto this you have to merge so tad asya jeevasya who is prabuddha now who is well taught and by the shruti and guru he is well taught so he is woken up as though prabuddha to the tatva asya jeevasya tadyogam shasti means tadatmana yogah tadyogah tam tadyogam so ditiya tadyogam shasti teaches yoga what yoga merging or union with what with that who state you want you want to become that so tadbhava you want to become atma that atma meaning the jagat karta atma which is anandamay swarupa there tadyogam is tadatmana yoga attaining tad tadrupatvam ityartha tadatmana is tadrupatvam tadrupat tadrupatva tadbhava that atma bhava anandamayatva bhava is what is wanting this person is wanting that so this person has always been a wanting person i want to become happy how much happiness do you want limitless happiness when do you want it i want it 
now and forever how long do you want it i want it forever so this is the pursuit so tadatmana anandamayatmana yogaha is tad yoga then in second case tam tad yogam so tad bhava patti hi what is that finally what is it that is mukti ananda which is been the search all along if one can remain in that Ananda Swarupa, the blissful nature forever, that itself is Mukti. Because what is the claim of the Advaitin? What is the Lakshana for Mukti there? Atyantika Dukkha Nivritti. With what? Not only Atyantika Dukkha Nivritti, but also Niratishaya Sukha Prapti. So Niratishaya Sukha Prapti is only possible when तद योग आनंदमय योग सुख रूप योग टेक्स प्लेस एज पर दि पूर्व पक्ष एज पर दि एक सिद्धांत इट इज ओनली थ्रू दिस विधि ऑफ उपासना एंड देर फोर आय मर्ज विथ दैट लिमिटलेस बीइंग एंड द लिमिटेड आय मिसअंडरस्टूड राधर बिकम्स दि लिमिटलेस As per the ekadeshi, it is really becoming that because bheda and abheda both were there. This bheda was real. Now abheda is real. After this yoga, tad yoga. So tad bhava pati hi mukti hi tam shasti where yada hiye vaishaye tasmin nadrishyat naatmiye nirukte ityadi shastram. So the mantra says that. so where is it starting with that this mantra here the rasa which was quoted here in chaitri upanishad it goes as rasak gyevayan labdhanandi bhavati ko hevanya atkaf pranyat yadesha akashanando nasyat esha hevanandayati yada hi vaishaye tasmin nadrishyena atme nirukte nilayane bhayam pratishtha vindate atasho bhayangato bhavati yada hi vaishaye tasmin nudra mantram kurute अत तस्वती तत्म विदुषो मन्वान से तदप्येश श्लोको भवती सो दैट इज दि सेक्शन इन विच ऑल दीज मंत्र विच आर कोटेड दि वन विच वी सॉ इन दि क्लोजिंग एट दि लास्ट पार्ट हा वेर वी लुक दैट दिस आनंद याति एंड देन रसो वै सह रस ही एव अयम लब्ध्वा आनंदी भवती देन वॉट इज कोटेड नाव एज टू यदा ये वैश इत्यादि मंत्र ऑल दीज आर इन वन सेक्शन ऑफ चैत्र उपनिषद इन दि ब्रह्मानंद वल्ली इन दि सेकेंड वल्ली सेकेंड चैप्टर ऑफ दि चैत्र उपनिषद सो देर वॉट हेज बीन सेट वेन वन बिकम्स वन यदा यदा एट दैट टाइम यदा ही एव एष दिस seeker etasmin adrishye this this which is adrishya this anandamaya is not seen it is not objectifiable through any pratyakshadi pramana so unto this adrishye anatmye anirukte ityadi shastram so this mantra says that when one becomes one with that what is finally what is said this mantra ends by saying अभय प्रतिष्ठा विंदते दिस अद्वितीय भाव द्वितीयाद्वय भय भवती वंस दिस फेलो अटेन्स दिस तद्भावापत्ति तद्योग तदात्मना योग देन दैट इज मुक्ति बिकॉज देर इज नो भया देर सो आत्यंतिक दुख निवृत्ति एंड देन निरतिशय सुख प्राप्ति विल टेक प्लेस स अभयंगता ही विल बिकम फियरलेस there won't be any fear because fear is only from a second there is no second now he has become one with paramatma tasmat na anandamaya jeeva therefore anandamaya is not jeeva why because you cannot attain something you already are this is ekadeshi again kintu paramatma eva you are going to merge with as a seeker you are going to merge with paramatma this is the interpretation of the mantra of the एक देशी विल सी वॉट दी फाइनल सिद्धांत आईज 
इदम तो एक देशी मतम सो सो फार ऑल दिस स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम आनंदमय अभ्यास अपटिल दिस अस्मिन तदयोगम शास्त्री इट इज एक देशी मतम एक देशी वेदांति भगवत्दीय मते तो एवं सूत्र योजना नाउ दि एंटर थिंग इज लुक्ड इन टू विथ भगवत्दीय मत भाष्य एस टू वाट इज दि फाइनल कंक्लूजन वाट दी सूत्र रियली मीन इन अद्वैत सिद्धांत वेर देर इज नो सह समुच्चय देर इज नो ध्यान प्राप्त ऐक्यम इट इज ज्ञान प्राप्त ऐक्यम इट इज नॉट दिस ऐक्य एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ ध्यान एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ उपासना बट इट इज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ श्रवण इट सेल ऑफ दि ज्ञान निधिध्यासन इज नीडेड ऑल राइट बट इट इज नॉट ध्यान विच इज गोइंग टू गिव राइज टू मुक्ति बट इट इज ज्ञान इट इज द नॉलेज विच विल दी विच इज द फाइनल कॉज फॉर मुक्ति सो आनंदमय अभ्यास वॉट इज द मीनिंग देर ईक्षत्यधिकरणे मुख्य ईक्षणा ब्रह्म निर्णय गौण प्राय पाठ से अनिश्चायक यथा न तथा इह आधार पुच्छ शब्द लक्षक साम्य अवयव प्राय पाठ से अनिश्चायक अस्ती तेन से प्रत्युदाहरण संगति दि एक ऑलसो लुक डैट इट एज दिस आनंदमय अभ्यास एज दि प्रत्युदाहरण संगति हि लुक डैट as as pratikula udha, udharana was there it was an example the mantra was given an example the vakya veda vakya as an example which is counter to the ikshadi ikshatyadikarana analysis there ikshatyadikarana what was said the ikshana is mukhya although there is praya part there is there is more usage of tad ikshata there tad ikshata can mean as pradhana ikshata was the claim of the purva pakshi but what was said the siddhant said no it is not so purva pakshi said but then there is before tad ikshata or uh, after tad ikshata what is there tat teja ikshata and then ta apaha ikshanta all that is gauna because teja agni cannot have ikshana same reason that you are giving and apaha the water also cannot have ekshana because of being insentient similarly pradhana also tad ekshata can mean pradhanam ekshata where it is gauna prayoga so although there is more gauna prayoga there still tad ekshata that sat ekshata cannot mean pradhanam ekshata there it is mukhya so ekshatya dikade mukhya ekshanat ब्रह्म निर्णय गौण प्राय पाठ से अनिश्चायक यथा यू लैंडेड इनटू ब्रह्म बाय टेकिंग मुख्य ईक्षण बिकॉज ईक्षण द विजन इज नॉट पॉसिबल इन एन इनसेंशियन बीइंग एंड हाउ दैट गौण ईक्षण वाज नॉट डिसाइसिव इट वाज इनकनक्लूसिव गौण प्राय पाठ से अनिश्चायक दिस इज वॉट दी पूर्व पक्षी वॉज सीन एज सेंग एंड दैट वॉज सीन एज दी as that which led to the sutra anandavaya abhyasat in the case of ek deshi siddhanti also ek deshi also had a similar analysis so the advaita siddhanti who is the bhagavat padya mata also there also parama siddhant so i'll say ek deshi and parama siddhant so this parama siddhant and the parama siddhant also the same reason is leading to the sutra anandavaya abhyasat न तथा इह आधार अवयत्व बट दि डिफरेन्स इज दैट हियर आधार एंड अवयत्व दि आधार बाय ब्रह्मपुच्छम प्रतिष्ठा एंड अवय अवयत्व बिकॉज दक्षिण पक्ष उत्तर पक्ष सो तस्य प्रियम शिव इन द आनंदमय अटीस्ट तस्य प्रियम शिव मोदो दक्षिण पक्ष प्रमोद उत्तर सो that which was mentioned uttara paksha dakshina paksha and then the ananda anando atma that ananda is the trunk atma there is in the meaning of the trunk the entire body so there parts are talked about avayavatva is there so adharatva avayatva tatha ih adharatva avayavatvayoh puchcha shabda lakshakatva samya avayava praya patasya anichchayakatvam asti iti 
So, na asti. Na will go with that asti. Na asti. So, here you cannot say it is indecisive because the adharatva has been turned out. Avayatva also. Avayavas are mentioned by the mention of the paksha, the wings, etc. with the bird simile. So, puchcha shabda lakshakatva. Puchcha shabda lakshakatva de. <coughs> what is that? Puchcha shabda lakshakatva. Avayavas, first avayavas are what? Dakshina paksha, uttara paksha deha, avayava. Those are the avayavas, the parts which are discussed. Then puchcha shabda lakshakatva samya. There is puchcha shabda use, lakshakatva samyat. There is lakshakatva samya. What is the lakshakatva? Sautra anandamaya shabda. The anandamaya shabda which has been used in the sutra, this sutra here. Anandamaya Abhyasat earlier when the Adhikarana started that time the sutra was sorry the Anandamaya Abhyasat <coughs> this Anandamaya Abhyasat this Anandamaya Shabda what is this Shabda? this Anandamaya is Sautra Anandamaya Shabda Sutra Gata in the Sutra Anandamaya Shabda has been used now that Anandamaya Sautra Anandamaya Shabda and the Shrauta Vakyastha Brahma Shabda. What is that? Sautra and Shrauta. So this Sautra, Sutra Gata is Sautra. If I said Shrauta, then it is wrong. What I was saying is, see this Anandamaya Shabda has been used in the Sutra here. The Sutra. So this Sutra Gata Anandamaya Shabda is Sautra Anandamaya Shabda. So there is Sautra Anandamaya Shabda. Then in the Anandamaya refrain there, in the Vakyas, in the Taitiri Upanishad Anandamaya Shabda has been used. That is what? Shrauta Anandamaya. It is Shruta. It is heard in the Shruti, so it is Shrauta. So, Sautra and Shrauta. Sautra is this Anandamaya in the Sutra. Sutra Gata. So, Sutra Gata Anandamaya Shabda and Shruti Gata Anandamaya Shabda. Taitre Shruti Gata Anandamaya Shabda. Both have some Lakshartha. So, what is said here is Puchcha Shabda Lakshakatva Samya. There is Samya. Samyat. There is samyam between what? There is similarity between the lakshakatva in the in the anandamaya shabda of the sutra and anandamaya shabda of the shruti, taitri shruti. Here puchcha shabda lakshakatva samya. The anandamaya shabda which is used along with that Pucha Shabda which is heard there in that Vakya, there is a similarity compared to the Sutra here. So you look at the Sutra, Anandamaya Abhyasat. Abhyasa is there, multiple repetitions are there in the entire Shruti. Anandamaya has been used for what? So Pucha Shabda Lakshakatva Samyat. Because Lakshakattvam is same, both indicate something. What, what do they indicate? The Sutra Gata Anandamaya Shabda and Shrauta Vakyastha Brahma Shabda. Anandamaya Shabda has been used, but Puchha word along with that Brahma has been used. So, although Anandamaya has been used there, in that section, Anandamaya Anandamaya Vakya, that Anandamaya Vakya, just let me read that Vakya so it will be clear because there is a confusion without talking about the mantra and this is unlike Bhashya because the Vritti is very small. It does not quote the entire uh, mantra. Bhagavan Bhashyakara will quote what is necessary but the Vritti is shorter than that. So let me just uh, bring up that mantra, Taitiri Upanishad mantra there. Mm. Just give me a moment. Yeah. 
Kya anyo anyo antar atma 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 anyo antar अन्यंतरात्मानंदमय यूर्ण सवायश पुष विद एव तुष विदता मन्वय पुष विद तियमे शिव मोदो दक्षिण पक्ष प्रमोद उत्तर पक्ष आनंद आत्मा ब्रह्मपुछ प्रतिष्ठा तदप्येश श्लोको भवती सो दिस फिफ्थ मंत्र इन दि ब्रह्मानंदवल्ली सैकेंड चैप्टर ऑफ तैत्री उपनिषद सो वॉट हेज बीन सेट देर Avayavas are talked that Ananda Maya is different from Vidyana Maya, which is within, and it is different from Vidyana Maya. So Vidyana Maya, which was prior said to be Atma, in the Panchakosha Viveka, you have landed on the fourth, and that fourth is Vidyana Maya as Atma. Then the Shruti says, No, no, there is another within that is Ananda Maya. That Ananda Maya is Atma. It is different from the Vidyana Maya. Therefore, Vidyana Maya is hide. Vidyana Maya is hiding that real Atma. So you drop this Vidyana Maya as yourself. Don't identify there. Go within, and then you will understand that that Vidyana Maya is Kosha, not Atma. And what is this Ananda Maya now? This Ananda Maya is that which has Priya as its Shira. Its head is. With the bird simile, which was used earlier, it says you think of a bird, just like the bird has a head which is separate from its wings, etc., and the tail. Similarly, this Ananda Maya, you can think of it having a head which is Priya, Priya Rupa Ananda, Priya Rupa, the happiness which is called as Priya when you look at a vastu or someone talks about a vastu which is Priya to you, which is desirable to you. Then it says that Modo Dakshina Paksha, the right wing is Moda Ha. when you when you come in possession of this vishaya this object that you like desire then your happiness increases that is called as modaha that moda is the right wing and then pramoda uttara paksha the left wing is pramoda which is the happiness that you get when you consume this when you consume this object then then you we when you attain this is you attain this object based on what kind of object so then pramoda is the level of your ananda it increases the happiness increases finally the ananda real ananda is atma so ananda ha atma that is the trunk of the of the bird and then what is the tail brahma pucham pratishtha so that is the word used there that pucha shabda brahma pucham pratishtha the tail which is pratishtha which is support for the entire ananda maya and through ananda maya for vijnana maya and for from vijnana maya extending to all the other till anna maya so all the koshas so that is the focus here when vritti says pucha shabda lakshakatva samya that pucha shabda lakshaka is brahma dev brahma pucham pratishtha which is said later only that part is quoted so we'll move ahead and see what this means pucha shabda lakshakatva samya avayo praya patasya anichchayakatvam asti puro pakshi is saying this pucha shabda is the meaning it is the tail which is talked about and that is what there is commonality that anandamaya section in the taitri upanishad which is talking about that is talking about anandamaya as brahma this avayo praya patasya anichchayakatvam asti na nasti that you cannot say tena asya pratyudharana sangati he says that this will become nischayaka because everywhere earlier also in the vijnanamaya manomaya pranamaya and annamaya this bird similarly has been used and there the tail was talked about right wing left wing and the head was talked about the trunk was talked about similarly in anandamaya that is talked about therefore this brahma which is talked about as pucha as a part there so pucha shabda lakshakatva samyam is there 
therefore this sutra that you are talking about anandamaya there which has come up here this sutra praya padasya anichchayakatvam nasti this multiple usages of the parts and the tail especially the tail here where brahma is talked about that cannot be the meaning of the anandamaya says the purva pakshi he gives a counter example and it will be anichchayaka because all four places in all four atma and kosha analysis there is a part and tail is a part there similarly in anandamaya that will be decisive it will not be indecisive the way the gauna ikshana was indecisive in the ikshatya dikarana phalam tu adasthad abhitam the phala is the same what was mentioned earlier the same phala what is that upasana for the purva pakshi on jiva jiva himself is upasya in the case of siddhanti what was said earlier is that jnanena moksha for parama siddhanti jnan of aikya between brahma which is discussed there and jiva who is the seeker whereas in the case of ekadeshi mata the phala was that the upasya is paramatma but not nyaya but upasya you know you will not get anything after knowledge you have to meditate upon that ishwara as yourself so that was the phala there so adastha abhitam brahma puchham pratishta ityatra kim anandamaya avayavatvena brahma uchyate uta svapradhanatvena iti sandehe avayavatvena iti purva paksha because brahma puchham pratishta puchya shabda there is a part therefore avayava has to be seen there avayatvena so it is not brahma which is discussed there as anandamaya so ichitra kim anandamaya avayavatvena brahma uchyate this brahma is a part of anandamaya because brahma puchcham pratishta brahma is puchcha he is ignoring this pratishta what pratishta means he does not care he says in that meditation it is a meditation says purva pakshi brahma is the tail of that bird and the tail and the whole cannot be one tail is one part therefore brahma is one part of anandamaya anandamaya is the whole with the priya as the head and the moda and pramoda as the two wings trunk is ananda and then brahma is the tail therefore brahma is one part of anandamaya says the purva pakshi सो किम आनंदमय अवयवत्वेन ब्रह्म उच्यते ही सेज यस अवयवत्वेन इति पूर्व पक्षा सिद्धांति सेज उत स्वप्रधानत्वेन इति संदे स्वप्रधानत्वेन मीन ब्रह्मा इज टॉक्ड अबाउट इटसेल्फ बाय ब्रह्म पुच्छम प्रतिष्ठा दैट प्रतिष्ठत्वम इज प्रधानम दे व्हाट इज फाइनली सेड दैट ब्रह्मा इज द फाइनल प्रतिष्ठा फॉर एवरीथिंग सो स्वप्रधानत्वेन ब्रह्मा स्वप्रधान इज इटसेल्फ प्रधाना देयर Siddhanti says that Svapradhanatvam is talked about there. How so? Siddhantastu Sautra Anandamaya Shabdena Anandamaya Vakyastha Brahma Puchamitya Tratya Brahma Shabdha Upalakshade What is finally meant there is Sautra Anandamaya Shabdha This Sutra Gata Anandamaya Shabdha In the Sutra what Brahma Sutra says that is Anandamaya Shabdha What is meant by that Anandamaya Shabdha is Anandamaya Vakyastha Brahma Pucham Ityatratya What is present in that mantra That Anandamaya Vakya Brahma Pucham Pratishta Which I just chanted a bit back There Anandamaya Vakya You are just holding on to Anandamaya In that Anandamaya Vakya But go further and land on Brahma That Brahma Pucham Don't stop at Brahma Pucham Brahma is Pucha tail Exactly tail it is not There it is figurative usage it is a usage which is a refrain from the earlier four yes it is a refrain but it is not exactly the same it does not mean the same everywhere just like tat teja ikshata and ta apa apaha ikshanta do not have the same meaning just like those the tad ikshata will not have the same gauna meaning it is mukhya there similarly here brahma pucham pratishtha has to be understood ब्रह्म शब्द उपलक्ष्यते व्हाट इज द सूत्र आनंदमय शब्द से आनंदमय डज नॉट मीन आनंदमय हियर दैट इज व्हाई इन द परम सिद्धांत दिस आनंदमय इज परमात्मा हाउ सो बाय लक्षण आनंदमय इज नॉट आनंदमय इन द सूत्र एज पर द परम सिद्धांती 
ఆనందమయ ఇస్ ఆనందమయ అండ్ ఆనందమయ ఇస్ ఈక్వల్ టు బ్రహ్మ యాజ్ పర్ ది ఏకదేశి యాజ్ పర్ ది పరమ సిద్ధాంతి ఆనందమయ ఈజ్ నాట్ లిటరలీ మీనింగ్ బ్రహ్మ బట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఇండికేటివ్ ఆఫ్ బ్రహ్మ ఇట్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు టేక్ ది ఇంప్లైడ్ మీనింగ్ ఆనందమయ అభ్యాసాత్ ఆనందమయ ఈజ్ ది క్లోజెస్ట్ యూ క్యాన్ ల్యాండ్ ఆన్ ఇన్ ఆబ్జెక్టిఫైంగ్ ఎనీథింగ్ అండ్ through that you land on brahma how that ananda that you have even in shushupti that is not the real you that swarupa ananda is veiled by avidya in bija avastha in the shushupti avastha that real you is even beyond that it is just a manifestation of ananda your swarupa ananda is you you cannot experience it the experience ananda is reflected therefore that reflection which is anandamaya from that you land on to ananda which is reflected anandamaya is not really a reflection anandamaya is that it is also finally all of these are reflections only meaning pratibimba jiva bhava is in the pratibimba anandamaya or in the vidyanamaya which is a pratibimba or in manomaya ityadi as pratibimba they are all pratibimba or abhasa brahmavat abhasate there is an abhasa of the real you atmavat it is not the real you similarly anandamaya there you feel that oh in shushupti i was very happy that is my real nature it is not your real nature because avidya is veiling your real nature it is still what is anubhuta that anubhuta cannot be the one who is having anubhava so anubhavaka is standing separate that separate you the sakshi of ananda sushupti ananda also is real you therefore there you do lakshana this sutra anandamaya shabda sutra gata anandamaya shabda is sautra anandamaya shabda they have to do lakshana so the lakshaka there what is said there is that the anandamaya vakyastha brahma pucham ityatratya బ్రహ్మ శబ్ద ఉపలక్ష్యతి దేర్ ఫోర్ దిస్ ఆనందమయ శబ్ద ఆఫ్ ది సూత్ర సౌత్ర ఆనందమయ శబ్ద విల్ బికమ్ లక్షక దాట్ ఆర్ సెడ్ అర్లియర్ నౌ యూ కెన్ అండర్స్టాండ్ దిస్ లాంగ్ వర్డ్ పుచ్చ శబ్ద లక్షకత్వ సామ్య అవయవ ప్రాయపాఠస్య సో దిస్ పుచ్చ శబ్ద లక్షకత్వ ఈజ్ రియలీ దాట్ బ్రహ్మ ఈజ్ ది లక్ష్య లక్షక ఈజ్ ది పుచ్చ శబ్ద పుచ్చ శబ్ద is the lakshaka which will land you on lakshya brahma therefore sautra anandamaya is also like that the sutra gata brahma sutra has this anandamaya shabda you have to do lakshana and land on the lakshya what is that sautra anandamaya shabda na anandamaya vakyastha what is that it has to be connected lakshana has to be connected so it is connected to the anandamaya vakyastha brahma that brahma pucham was mentioned pratishta that brahma by become puchha saying that it is pratishtha you have to do lakshana of this anandamaya and anandamaya vakyastha brahma pucham ityatratya brahma shabda that brahma shabda in the brahma pucham pratishtha in the anandamaya vakya the entire section there that upalakshate brahma shabda upalakshate you have to land on brahma shabda with the anandamaya shabda that is the lakshana there therefore what swasvapradana sa swapradana paraha స్వప్రధాన బ్రహ్మపర స్వప్రధాన పర సి స్వప్రధానత్వేన వాజ్ మెన్షన్ దాట్ స్వప్రధానత్వం కిం స్వప్రధానత్వం స్వప్రధాన బ్రహ్మపరత్వం ఇట్ ఈస్ దాట్ ఆనందమయ థ్రూ లక్షణ స్టాండ్ ఫర్ బ్రహ్మ కుత వాయ్ అభ్యాసాత్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ అభ్యాస దెర్ ఈస్ అ రిపిటేషన్ తస్యవ అసన్నేవ సభవతి ఇది శ్లోకే అభ్యస్యమానత్వాద్ ఇచ్చేర్థ ఫర్దర్ ఇట్ ఎస్ సెడ్ అసన్నేవ సభవతి one who says that brahma is not there then what will happen asanniva sabhavati we'll see more in the next part i'll just uh, finish this abhyasat we'll look at this asanniva and then move into the other sutra interpretation we'll stop here but kutah abhyasat abhyas of anandamaya and anandamaya through lakshana into brahma so brahma one who does not say that brahma is there existent అసన్నేవ సభవతి యో బ్రహ్మ నాస్తి ఇది వదతి వన్ హూ సో ద మంత్ర ఇస్ నాట్ ఐఎమ్ ప్యారాఫ్రైజింగ్ ది మంత్ర 
so that person will as though become as though he is non existent so that will be said in the taitiriya upanishad later so asannevasa bhavati one who says brahma is not there that brahma is really atma the person who is saying that brahma is not there it is equivalent to saying that i am not there so as though he is non existent as though he cannot become non existent it is like saying that i do not have a tongue the person who loudly claims that i do not have a tongue is lying because without the tongue he cannot make that statement so it is meaningless statement similarly one who says that brahma nasti that person does not understand any better it is it is a statement saying that i do not exist it has to be a false statement so asannevas bhavati means as do asan he as do he saying that i am not there he will become non existent as do non existent because he is saying brahma is not there so that is the abhyasa there tasya eva brahmana tasya eva lakshya brahmana this brahma shabda which is the implied meaning of anandamaya shabda anandamaya vakyastha brahma that's what it means there abhyasa is done tasya eva asannevas bhavati iti shloke abhyasya manatva ityartha it has been repeated there it is not that anandamaya literally which is not there that is not the statement that one is making he is saying brahma is not there that person will become asat as do therefore this abhyasa of the anandamaya which is actually implying that brahma therefore brahma cannot be the meaning of anandamaya uh, sorry jiva cannot be the meaning of anandamaya brahma cannot stand for jiva which is lakshartha of anandamaya therefore anandamaya cannot stand for jiva it stands for paramatma by lakshana so we'll continue in the next part huh? with the other sutras with this uh, broad perspective of what the siddhanti really means we we'll look into others quickly so keep on forgetting our uh, mangala charana आत्मज्योतिरुपास्मि नमस्ते 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 जी